Okay folks, uh, here's a quick little primer on how you check a stator in your KLR650. Uh, this is a first generation uh, bike, 1999 I think. And first of all is uh, how do you do this without tearing your bike all apart. One of the nice things about checking the stator and the regulator on a KLR650 is that the, the plug to test it is right here, this little white plug. This little thing right here is called the voltage regulator slash rectifier. What it does, it takes power that uh, comes in from your stator. Your stator is down on the left hand side of the bike, um, but you don't have to go through and tear that whole thing apart to check it. So before you go on an adventure, if you're just questioning or wondering, wanting to make sure your charging system is working good, it just takes a couple minutes to do this. And uh, what you do is you simply take this plug out. I'm going to unplug it here for you, maybe. It's kind of tight. And you're going to notice there are six wires. Hopefully you guys can see this. Six wires. On the top here, there's a white wire, a red and white wire, and a black and yellow wire, I think. And on the back side here, there are three yellow wires. You can see those three yellow wires. Those three yellow wires are the three wires that come up from your stator feeding power to your voltage rec regulator and rectifier. And what essentially happens is because the, the stator and the, the rotor is spinning, it creates alternating current that comes up in these yellow wires. That goes into your rectifier, which rectifies it, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on how it does that, but basically when it comes out, it comes out as pulsating DC or almost basically DC or direct current. Uh, the white wire, you can actually follow these, and the black and uh, yellow wire here, this black and yellow one, goes to the negative side of the battery, that's a grounding side, and this white wire is actually the positive or the roughly 12 volt wire, 12 volts that is going from the regulator back to your battery to charge the battery. This little red and white wire is a signal wire and it's one that uh, measures uh, the voltage that's coming, that is in the system basically and tells the regulator to allow more voltage or less voltage to come through and that's a little bit more complicated than what we want to talk about in this tutorial. So. If you want to check your, um, your stator and make sure that all three windings are putting out power, your bike will run without this thing plugged in, but there's a quick little screening tool that you can do. First thing, you take your nice little voltage, rate, uh, voltage meter here, and this is uh, one from Harbor Freight. that I've actually measured as much as 5,000 volts on this thing and uh, it gets to about 7,000 and it'll blow up. But, <laughs> but you basically turn this voltage meter on it's, and then you're gonna turn it to ohms first. It's this little funky little, I'll just show you here, this funky little uh, schematic thing right there. That's an ohm indicator. And you put it on like say maybe 200 ohms or so. And what this does is when you have connection between these two posts right here, let me get this in view, it'll go to zero or a low number. Now what that's measuring is the resistance in the leads and you'll see when I disconnect it, it goes to one, that means that they're not connected and if they're pushing towards each other, if they're connected together and it goes down to zero, that means we've got a complete connection. So when you're checking your stator, the first thing you can do is just put this little voltmeter where you can see it, try to turn it so you can see the numbers on it, there you go. And then you're gonna just simply take one of these on one of those yellow wires, and you're gonna put the other one on the other wire. And what you're looking for is that there's a connection. So that's uh, 1.2. Uh, <clears throat> and we're gonna to go to the next one, the number one and the three, and that's 1.3. And then you're gonna put this uh, red probe on the middle one, and they're gonna check both sides, make sure that it goes down to close to zero, 1.2. And you're going to just check every single combination of those three wires you can. What that tells you is that they're not open. In other words, all the wires are connected together and there's no break in the wire. If a break happens in the wire, 
this will stay on zero you won't get a connection and that particular coil will be dead and will not be sending any power to your regulator so if you check that and you've got one coil that's dead that means you need to replace your stator but right now those all screen to be okay now the next thing we can do is we can actually start the bike and we can measure between uh, any one of these yellow wires and a ground and make sure that there's actually voltage coming through and we want uh, the battery's 12 volts as you know it's a little bit higher than that really but we want to make sure that this will send out more than 12 volts on each of those wires so what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to switch my little voltmeter here over to alternating current down here you'll see a little V with a wavy line that means alternating current and we're going to put it on say 200 so we're going to make sure that the scale is high enough and we're going to start the bike and I'm going to put uh, uh, the, see the negative was this black and yellow wire here so I'm going to put the the black lead right there and then I'm going to check each one of these yellow wires against the ground see if something comes through and of course right now there's nothing but I'm going to be quiet because I'm going to be starting the bike and you won't be able to hear me anyway but we're going to look on this dial here and while it's running and idling we're going to want to make sure we've got voltage coming through each one of those yellow wires which is each one of the three coils or the three phases of the stator. Okay that's measuring uh, 23 volts so we know that particular that particular coil is working, so now I'm going to check the middle one. Let's measure a little bit lower, but it's, uh, I mean, this is an idle too. When it revs up, it's a little higher. It's measuring 11. Still working. Now the third one. 16, 15, 16. So that middle coil is maybe a little weak, but that's okay. We still, I mean, we still got three coils coming in. All are sending voltage, so we know that we know that the stator is working. Okay. Now, if we had one of those that had nothing, for example, right now the bike's not spinning, and so if we measured like I'm measuring right now, and one of those coils was a zero, we would know we've got a bad coil in that stator and it needs to be replaced. If you're going to do that, you may as well upgrade to a to a, a better stator. But that's a real quick, easy way. All it takes is to remove the seat, pull this little plug out, and measure each of those three yellow wires. And on most bikes, believe it or not, there are three yellow wires for the three phases. So now there's different, I mean, you can change the RPMs of the motor and there's different uh, standards. I don't really know what the standard is on this particular bike, but if you're getting voltage coming through that's alternating current, it's above around 12 or above, um, you're fine. Okay, so stay tuned and we will talk about how to check the regulator next. But that's a quick little primer on how to check your, your stator without tearing everything apart on the bike.